Now, I know sometimes I can kind of give the impression that I'm complaining. I'm not, okay? Um, I know a lot of uh, the problem with Hollywood and the industry is more the fact that people don't know how to even start in the industry anymore, okay? Nobody has a clue what to do in order to even be noticed. And they're just trying everything and anything, and even me. I'm, I'm just sitting here hoping that somebody's gonna see me and suddenly realize that maybe they've made mistakes over the years. And a lot of that is because Hollywood is in serious trouble, okay? They have had more actors die in the past 17 years than they took in into the industry, okay? People are trying to say that, well, there's just no jobs. Ha! There's more jobs today than there ever was. There is so much demand and need for actors. It's insane, okay? You got PlayStation, Xbox putting out games. They need actors to do voiceovers. They've got, uh, they've got animation coming over from Japan. They need people to dub it. Okay? I mean, you've got internet programs that have to be managed. You have television that has to actually find actors and whatnot. You have film. Film's only a small aspect of the whole version of acting. And what do you find? You find agents, right? How do you find an agent? First question, every single Brand new actor right out of college will ask, how do I get an agent? Okay, why? Most agents don't even have websites still to this day. Most agents frown on the new kind of entertainment called the internet. Why? Because they're stuck in the 60s and 70s attitudes. Okay? These agents want to go to a theater and see you perform, the industry doesn't have time for that, okay? My problem with agents isn't their attitudes, it's the fact that the industry does not have the time for them. And they need to change. New agents need to come up, okay? If someone started an agency today, the biggest problem they'd have is getting actually noticed because people are sitting there trying to go pound doors on agents that have closed their doors 20 years ago. And it's because there's no one, no way to find them. The only way you can find an agent is to find the ones that don't accept resumes. How many times have you actors sent out resumes and received this kind of response? If you actually received a response at all, we do not take unsolicited submissions. Okay? People have wondered for decades, how do I get noticed by that company? Well, the answer, every actor will tell you this. The answer is, you get an Oscar, you go to the Oscars, that agent approaches you at the Oscars and says, I will buy you from your company and you can work for our company. The industry doesn't have time for this. Okay? You've got 12 million games going out into the world and they need actors to do voiceovers. You have internet programs, you have television programs, you have movies, you have films in other countries. The United States directors are filling from foreign countries. They're filling from Britain, from France, because they don't have any actor base in the U.S. And this has to stop. You know, I mean, I sit there, I've sent out 500 resumes a year for 10 solid years. I'm still looking for an agent. I didn't get one serious callback for an interview. Why? Why did the agents do that? Because the agent is the attitude of, I'm the president of JP Morgan and I'm interviewing people for my lowest teller position. Now, if you were, then I wouldn't have a problem with that. Because if I was actually going to J.P. Morgan for a job, I know that if I got an, a correct interview with you, that I would come out of that interview and I would make X amount of dollars per hour, I would have a salary, I would be paid within an established amount of time. 
okay? You're a contract industry. If I'm agreeing to work with you, that's all I'm doing. I go to an interview with an agent, I sign a piece of paper that says that agent may get me a job in the course of the next couple of years. You can't go to your landlord or your bank and pay your mortgage or your rent with a promise of being paid. And they're trying to be the high and mighty Beverly Hills. And I don't care where you are, because I'm going to tell you the flat, honest truth. Okay? Your career is in your hands. I'm going to say this a thousand times, but your career is in your hands. If you don't have a job in the industry, the problem is you. It's not your agent, it's you. Okay? I could probably do this a lot differently, but I don't want to be stuck in the same thing I was years ago. I want to get out of that. That's why I'm trying to go a little bit further than what I would do just to get a paying job. I mean, for God's sakes, anyone can get a paying job. But this is the thing, okay? Now, if you are represented by CAA, one of the top agencies in the United States, okay? Or you are represented by, give me a name, something like, I don't know, Mademoiselle? No, that's still a little too high. Give me another name, something like, I don't know, Mom and Pop out of Florida. You're gonna get the same contract either way. No matter who your agent is, you're going to get the same contract. Why? Because the directors are doing the same films, okay? You're not going to get a different director looking for films just because you're working for a different agent. Okay? That's the first thing you need to understand is the fact that there is no deviation within agents. They talk about their pecking order all the time. Okay? What do you hear from an agent the moment you talk to him and say, uh, an actor like Tom Cruise? The agent says, you want me to contact the A-list? Excuse me, what's an A-list? What's a B-rit list? What's B-rated films? This is jargon. It's invented by the paparazzi. Come on, people. We're trying to do film here. We're not concerned with who's the big on top thing. Okay? We don't give a damn about your Monopoly plays. We're trying to create art. And one of the primary things that you can look at any agent and say in the United States, well, so there's no contracts in the US. What about in France? What about in England? What about in Germany, Italy? And their jaws will hit the floor because you're going outside of the box. Okay. How many times in primary business do you hear this? Think outside the box. That's what I'm doing with this series. That's what I want you people that watch this to do. Think outside the box. We need to be bigger. We need to be higher. We need to be able to do more. Okay? You have, an, you have a prime actor in the, in the United States. Look at the top of Hollywood in the U.S. Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, uh, Johnny Depp. How many films per year are they allowed? One to five. Why? Because their agent doesn't want them to star in one movie which then competes with another movie for the Best Actor Oscar. Oh, come on, you can't live on that. I did over 300 films in three years. That's more than most people do in their lifetime. And that's pathetic. Okay? That is absolutely pathetic. In most cases, 
what they will say is, well, you got your one contract for the for the year. I mean, you know, what else do you want? I got to do this for other people, too. There's got to be other jobs for other people, too. Come off it. Get out of the 70s attitudes. Get out of the 70s. Come into the real world. We have the Internet now. We have better relations with foreign countries now. We could work anywhere under anybody. Now the question is, why do you need an agent? Here's the answer. It isn't to get the contract. It isn't to get noticed by the casting director. The reason you need the agent is because if you suddenly, like I did back in 1985, get requests from directors in Italy, directors in France, directors in England, directors in Japan, directors in the United States, 15 directors in the US demanding an extra, for God's sakes, in the same week. You need an agent to categorize this, to run it, to figure out a timetable. Because otherwise you'll go insane. Okay? Now what's one of the primary things you will hear from an agent? You will hear Make sure you show up for on time for the interview. A oh, place. What, what are we? Grade school kids? Who's not going to show up on time for their interview? Why do they say that? Who are they dealing with? They are dealing with 15 to 21 year old models who don't show up for a modeling contract because it was only 500 bucks and they make more doing a waitress job. That's not our fault. Get your attitude and shove it. Okay? You know, in over 300 films, how many actual auditions did I do? I did one audition and two uh, screen screenshots. Okay? One of which has been restored in the uh, ex special features section of Legend. My screen test in Legend. Now, when you understand that, you suddenly realize that they're just throwing nonsense in your face. Okay? Because when you're good, people come to you and they say, I want that actor. And that's what you need to be.